More than 80 million voters in the U.S. are expected to vote by mail this November, but can the U.S. Postal Service handle the surge in mail during the pandemic? That's the question 7 Action News reporter Amira David is uh, setting out to answer as she puts Metro Detroit's Postal Service to the test. At a time when USPS is expected to be busier than ever before, we wanted to know how long does it really take for a standard piece of mail to go from point A to point B? A pandemic, an election, and an unprecedented demand for mail-in ballots. It's the trifecta that together are sparking questions and anxieties from Metro Detroiters like Curtis Wellhausen. Originally, I thought mail-in voting would be the best option just with COVID, don't want to be all in a group of people. But just knowing how delayed everything is, I don't want my vote being in any way missing or lost and not knowing until after the fact. The United States Postal Service says the reductions in service seen over the summer that created a major backlog across the country have been reversed. But we are still hearing from you at The Rebound Detroit that mail delays are very much a reality, leaving some of you feeling the need to cling to what you know. The mail being, you, some days you get it, some days you don't, that never happened. So I figured that my vote would definitely count if I just bring it in there on my own. So I'm just gonna show up in person and that way I know my vote actually counts. But for others who simply can't afford to take on that health risk and plan to depend on the Postal Service, we went to work to find out just how bad those mail delays really are. Have we seen improvements since the summer? If you gave yourself a week or even two before the election to put a ballot in the mail, would that be enough time? Would it depend on where you live or whether you mail from the post office, a post box, or your home? Today, an experiment of sorts. I'm sending out 25 pieces of mail with a standard postage, and I'll track how long it takes to make its way through the system. Point A will be different cities and zip codes throughout Oakland, Wayne, and Macomb counties, and point B will be our news station. So how did we determine where exactly to send out these letters? Well, we went to you on social media and asked for your input on the biggest problem areas. Today, we are hitting up those spots one by one, starting right here in Sterling Heights. After all, this is the city that grabbed national headlines when 165 absentee voter ballots for the August 4th primary arrived in the mail six days late and therefore were never counted. <laughs> Elsewhere in Macomb County, we stopped in Warren, East Point, and St. Clair Shores. In Oakland County, we made stops in Southfield, Pontiac, and Ferndale, and in Wayne County, everywhere from the city of Detroit to downriver to Livonia. Well, for now, our work is done. We have taken these letters all around Metro Detroit. We have sent them out from homes, from postal boxes, and also direct from the postal office. Now we're just waiting for them to make their way back to us. As soon as we get the results, we're going to bring them directly to you. For now, I'm reporting in Sterling Heights. Amira David, 7 Action News. Yeah, I can't wait for those results. Thank you so much, Amira. We are